45, don't know what gear we're in, but let's go. This guy's gonna look. I think you can see some turbulators downstairs. But it's got a gnarly exhaust system. This car sounds great. Oh, dude, it sounded insane when you flew by. Yeah. For the era, I mean, usually I'd say like silicone don't belong on fast cars, but back in 09, this is pretty hot for off the shelf stuff. Um, the twin blow valves, a little Y pipe for our charged air is pretty sick. We got a little uh, Grady Boost controller on here. Pretty sweet. It's pretty subtle. It's pretty subtle. If it didn't have red silicone, I think you could fool some people. My two cents. My three cents is red means faster than anything else on the street. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a pretty sassy car. This is an aftermarket wing. Yeah, this is sick. This is all carbon fiber. This is all fucking dusty. Woo! I'm gonna eat my pizza off this tonight. It is it has a good look. It does look really good. Like I'm not a fan of convertibles normally, but I'll give this one a pass. Oh shoot. No one told us we had cold air intakes installed in the front. K and N's. You putting K and N on this bad boy? Yeah, I wasn't gonna tell you, but they've been there the whole time. Man. This got a fing meth injection. Hopefully that ain't and running on this tune we've been going with and both of us just got clobbered in the skull there's no meth in here well joey hopefully it's not on the kill tune today yep it's a light hood was that carbon fiber I guess no push to start in this thing huh? <laughs> push the brake or something Basically a, a 09 GTI inside of here. It feels simple, it feels nice. I mean, coming from like a 335i, there's like almost too much going on. I think so they were these. trying to do too much. This is this has been my favorite part of these cars. Oh wow, those actually work. They and can't they, they can't fit more than a teacup in here, but they are a bit small. <laughs> This is a twin turbo flat six. This one has upgraded turbo intercoolers. It's dropped down, it's on it, some HRE wheels. Pretty well hooked up. Uh, word on the street is this uh, 800 horsepower Porsche with the Tiptronics. It feels like every bit of it. I guess we'll figure that out soon here, huh? Honestly, I drove this car here today, Joey. I have a feeling you're gonna hit it harder than I have yet. Oh, were you a little scared? I've like rolled into it in third gear, that's it. Okay. I don't even, I mean, you could hit the manual or hit the, the buttons. What, they just the oh, button. right now? Yeah. What? <laughs> Dude, it's good. It's got some decent sized snails back there. But it looks fucking good. We're already getting a bunch of looks. Yeah, this thing's sweet. So this, do this real quiet, but these mamacitas are checking you out, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh my God. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get me in trouble, dude. Bro, you, <laughs> when you upgrade, when you upgrade from that Beamer to the Porsche, you know what they say, dude. I mean, I know you guys have all seen the memes about when BMW guys get rich. That's what they get right here. They hop into a Porsche. Upgrade that badge, baby. Now, I mean, these have a, a pretty good rep for being balanced cars. Take corners well. Don't quote me, but I think this one's all-wheel drive. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Once we get around this turn, I think we juice it a little bit. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. I don't know if I'm going full hardy the first go. Let's try this. Oh, I can't see over the hill. <laughs> it 
<laughs> Dude, it sounds so good. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I couldn't see over the hill. I didn't want to go full out. Let's get into the right gear here. I'm just going to put her to the floor. <laughs> okay, it doesn't automatically shift for me. We're going to have to give that another go, but holy fuck. Ready quick. <laughs> Those turbos. Uh, we were only going 50. I was watching it. See, when this car gets down, man, I feel like it's doing a math equation the way it, it just delivers it. The manifolds are, you know, less than 12 inches before they're hitting the back of a turbo. Mm -hmm. So it does light snappily, and you just, you hear that thing, man. Yeah, it's like, definitely aggressive. It comes live real quick. Should we hit another one right here, maybe? Yeah, just pay attention to the fucking, uh, the RPMs this time, dude. This is what happens when you give a BMW guys the keys to your Porsche. <laughs> This thing is ill. Right, Mackenzie just got back from doing those little flybys. So for those who may not know him, I'm gonna give him a little second here to introduce himself. What up everybody? Thank you, Joey. Um, my name is Mackenzie. I got a classic car shop just a bit down the road and uh, we deal in a little bit of everything cool. Stuff like this twin turbo pours, all the way to your 70s muscle cars. So give us a look, check us out. We'll be in the, the description. Me and Joey do a lot of videos together. It's always fun. Let's take this thing back out on the streets. Give this thing some sauce, dude. I feel like this car scared you early on. You've been afraid to lay into that pedal, man. You want me to floor it again? Punch it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that is like melts your face fast. Dude, it just throws you back. It's like, I don't know. Like, I've driven a GTR before. I've driven a couple other fast cars, but... Nothing compares to this. This is probably hands down the fastest car I've ever driven. It just sinks you into the seat. Yeah. It's like a Hershey's chocolate bar and a Civic on a hot summer day. <laughs> I think this is more, more exhilarating. Just the feels, the sounds, the noises, you know, than this kind of power NA. Yeah, I mean, I just have to keep comparing it to my BMW. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get back in that car and the turbos are just like, Tesla mode. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to get a single turbo. Like, there's no question about that. This this does make you scratch your head. Even I'm thinking about all the fun cars I have, and this this is kind of topping them. Yeah, I mean personally, I think the biggest miss with the whole car is this for the shifting. I don't know why they wouldn't just do a traditional paddle. Like, These, I'm sure they were high tech in 08, 09, but to today's standards, yeah, that's a little busted. <laughs> a little, <laughs> yeah. yeah, just a little bit. I'd say you just, like you hit the nail on the head is the best way to put it. I think that's the, the thing to knock the car for. Mm -hmm. You know, we can accept everything else for its age. You know, aesthetically, the Tiptronic, it does its job. This car boogies, but definite room for improvement. I see them uh, DSGs banging way harder and faster. And there might even be. Let Joey know in the comments 
who's tuning up Tiptronics? Pro someone probably does that. Someone let us know. Do we do we need a different clutch pack in this thing? Bye bye Porsche. Damn, that thing was fun to drive. Let me tell you. Well, from Porsche to poor, we just made it home in the Chevy Cruze and we got the whips uncovered up over there somehow. Nature's taking a toll on them. But that was a pretty sweet experience. Didn't think I was gonna get to drive a Porsche today. Thank you again to Mackenzie for letting me drive it. Make sure you check out his stuff. It'll be linked down in the description. If you like content like this, make sure you subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday and I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, yeah, so get out my way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fast in my lane. Yeah, 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 I'm doing my thing. Yeah, doing my thing. Yeah, feeling like I ain't a boss. Feeling like I ain't a baller. I can't complain. Shout she been in a lot. Shout she lost in the sauce.